what's going on guys it's time now for match number two of the fighter only rumble as you can see here we're still in first place so we did end up winning that first match against walker's redux in the second match here we're going to be going up against smart so let's jump right on into the hits so first up we're going up against jp falco and as you can see here, I did change up the deck this time around. We are going to be going all fighter this time. Um, I did want to change it up because I felt like the deck last time, while it was effective, got pretty boring pretty quick with just the limited number of options. So do I think this deck is going to play out better? Probably not. But hey, I want to have fun with it and I want you guys to have fun watching. So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and probably lead with my Brian the Home Invader because it's going to hit a tiny bit harder. Luckily, I do have my Mythic Stand there to make the Mascot Fighter. So JP is going to lead with a Cat Guards instead of a instead of going Fighter. That's interesting. I don't know if that was intentional or if maybe they have the wrong deck in. Either way, though, I'm going to take full advantage of this and make that Mascot Fighter to punish them with those punches. And I did draw an Arlen YMCA, so that is a potential healer there for me. Okay, so they're trying to make Positron Shooter for the, the Leech and the Hijack there. Interesting strat. Luckily, I still have the Payback there to negate most of that Leech, so that's working out for me. And I did draw my Hank, so I can make my Healer with Stick and Hank. So I do think I want to save my Arlen YMCA, because that can be another Healer there. I think I'm going to do the Diamond Crusher instead, because that also gives me the Stick and Hank combo, and I'll have even more heal on the field. All right, and Positron is now gone. They dropped a regular old Fry on the field, so I'm going to one-shot that thing, no problem. Let's go ahead and make a Stick and Hank. And between that heal all there, I think I'm actually set up to be getting a perfect 100 here if everything plays out just right. They drop a big-ass gun. I don't think I'm going to be one-shotting that one, unfortunately, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and just start setting up some more healers out here. Uh, instead of doing the Arlen, though, I might have a chance to do another, um, another combo here to get the healing that way. We'll do Diamond Crusher because that's more HP on the pool there upon combo, which is factored into the final score. So we're going to do Diamond Crusher instead. Alright, and they dropped the Rapture Stand pre-combo. Pretty sure I can deal with that, no problem. In fact, my Stick and Egg here has 17 sturdy walls, so that's blocking almost all of that attack from Rapture Stand. So I'm in a pretty good spot there. Let's go ahead and... Do I need, even need a combo right now? Probably not, but why not? Let's get some more heal all on the field to just top off Mascot Fighter and make sure he's at full HP there. We'll make another stick and hang for that. You might have noticed too I changed my hero up to Ricky Spanish over Consuela. That's just because since I'm doing the all fighter deck here, I'm sacrificing those heals to have protection here from Ricky for that um, the bodyguard and the, the shields there. All right, match number two is up against Dr. Petty. So I got a couple ways I can take this. We can go with the Karate Stewie or the Bakaneko. Both are pretty good. We're going to leave with Brian the Home Invader for the stronger item, just to see how it's going to go. I say stronger item. Arlen's actually the harder hitting one, but I'd want to save those as potential healers. They did the Snot Rocket, so how do I want to play it? I could go Luis and just take advantage of the leeches there. Or I could go Stewie and let it start crazing and then use my um, Arlens here to heal up. The thing is though, if I build a Crazer, if they do a Mythic combo that has Hijack, that could bone me, so I'm a little hesitant to do that. I think I'm going to play it safe and go Bakaneko there. Alright, no combo, so I was worrying over nothing there, but hey, like I said, better safe than sorry. I'm pretty sure Stewie would have lost out to a Mythic Fighter combo with Hijack. So I'm gassed there, but that's okay. I do have my ways. Um, I don't want to do Arlen now, because Diamond Crusher has jabbed to be breaking on through that, and I need a way to heal up my card, so we're going to play a Diamond Crusher instead. If I get a good punch, Snot Rocket's gone. Alright, that's exactly what I needed there. Alright, they played the Farnsworth down instead of Comp Wing. Lucky me, RNGs has taken pity. I do want to start getting some power on the field though, so I was going to say, so let's go ahead and do um, Karate Stewie, but I just drew my um, Dr. Zoidberg. That's not a bad way to go either for the cripple all to try to mitigate damage for incoming stuff. I do really like that as a potential option there as well. You know what? Screw it. Let's have some fun with this and draw this out. As I still have my two Arlens, I can still draw some Hanks to get some heals in here. So let's draw this match out and see if I can make this into 100 through strategy. 
we got the Diamond Crusher gas now. That's going to hopefully take care of it relatively quickly. Chicken fight's a bit annoying with the, um, the motivate, so Diamond Crusher can hit me a bit harder now. And next turn, the chicken fight will be punching and bombing me, so I will have to contend with that, which sucks. All right, and there's a Hank. So you know what? I'm gonna save the Arlen YMCAs for some more free heals later. I'm gonna do Diamond Crusher now, and then I can do the Hank. Actually, wait. Could just do the Arlen now, take advantage of those eight sturdy walls, and that'll block a good chunk of the Chicken Fight's attack damage there too. It's not a bad way to go on that. I think honestly I'd rather have more potential heal on the field later because they're still at full HP and I don't really have any any strong hard hitting stuff that's going to end this too quickly so I got time to draw this out. We're going to do the Diamond Crusher. I'm going to crush some stones. So Farnsworth should hopefully be falling. And then Diamond Crusher should be falling this next turn I believe too so I got some, some room here to work with. Ooh, it would have been falling if they didn't make Mascot Fighter, that sucks. Luckily, it will be taking the gas and the payback, though, so it should still still be hurting pretty bad. Yep, it's still falling. Let's go ahead and combo up into Stick and Hank there for the heal all and get that going. And now that I have 17 wall there, Chicken Fight can't hurt Stick and Hank anymore unless it gets the punch on him there. What's more, the payback damage I'll be delivering next turn should be dropping it. hey -o. They drop the Mythic Quagmire, not too worried about that. I just want to start getting my heals now, so let's go ahead and throw out an Arlen YMCA there. Don't even know if the attack will make it that far over to even get the heals, to be honest, so I might be better off just doing highest HP from here on out, but we'll see. They don't combo, we'll see. Okay, they didn't combo, but either way, I still think it's over before the attack gets to Arlen there, which is unfortunate. So just highest HP card. So Chicken Fight's my next move to expand that health wall out there. Boom. So the only way I could have made this a higher score is doing the Chicken Fight last turn, having two Chicken Fights out there instead of that Arlen. Because then it would have been a little bit more HP on the field there. It's okay, though. The attack is making it over to Stick and Hank, so I will be getting the heal all there. All right, match number three, Trick Nasty. Let's see if we can turn a trick on Mr. Nasty here. Let's go ahead and lead with my Arlen, and then I'll decide which way to take it after I see what they got. Show me what you got. Mythic Bob. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and beat you to the punch on that Christmas punch out and make mine right the hell now. All right, you didn't go for the combo, works for me. Dropped a Mythic Peggy instead, so that still has some scary freaking potential. Your Mythic Bob should be falling now though. Hopefully I don't punch it so I miss out on the leech target. Question is, do I want to do chicken fight and build out the wall or get a um, stick and hank going? I feel like chicken fight and then stick and hank to get the heals on him because there's gonna be no way to heal stick and hank up once it gets hit by Peggy there. So we're gonna go ahead and do chicken fight. Uh, of course I missed my leech target. Okay, Mythic Luis instead of comboing, that works fine for me. That way I still have something to leech off of next turn. Let's go ahead and start getting my um, my healer going here. We're going to play Diamond Crusher and get a Stick and Hank set up next turn for some heal all action. If I get a good punch on Luis, it'll drop from the bombs, I think. Okay, that's not happening. Actually, wait, where's Chicken Fight going to punch? Nope, still not happening. But we did take out the Peggy, so that works out okay. No combo, that's fine. I should be able to take out the Hank no problem too if I get the right punches, which I'm guaranteed to because I got two cards to punch and Luis is falling. So let's go ahead and set up that stick in Hank and get my heal all train going and heal on up. The entire card line should be coming down here. Damn it, I missed my leech target again because of that. Dang it, and it also screwed the entire card line of coming down. RNGs is giving me some bullshit punches. Is going to combo Hank too? Yep, so I still have no leech target, and because of that I end it before I get the heals in the slot 3 there again. God damn it, RNGs is screw you! Alright, highest HP fighter card to end on the highest note I can, that'll be my chicken fight here. But god damn! Next up we're going up against Mr. Billionaire. Let's go ahead and lead with the Diamond Crusher, and I do have a couple ways I can take it depending on what they play. The Brian Statue. 
So, do I want to go with uh, Dr. Zoidberg versus Bot there for the cripple all and the payback gas combo? I mean, the gas is getting cut a hell of a way down there from the bodyguard. Could just do Stick and Hank right off the bat. My um, sturdy wall blocks all damage from Brian's statue, and I do have payback still. So that's not a bad way to go on that. Kind of actually feeling that. I could also do Chicken Fight now. Take the four, you know, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the 14 damage now, because I'll have turn, some more turns to heal this up. We'll do Chicken Fight to buff up Diamond Crusher. I get one free attack here with the jab to break through pretty much almost all of that sturdy there. And then I have a healer that'll keep healing up Chicken Fight. They dropped the Mythic Stewie. It's got some scary potential, but we'll deal. So let's go ahead and make that Stick and Hank combo now, because now Brian's statue can't hurt me anymore. Plus, I'll be healing up Chicken Fight when he starts taking damage, and I'm going to be dishing out that payback damage now. And I have plenty of time to heal Stick and Hank back up to full. Knife Fight Stewie. Gotta say, that's not the way I thought that was going to go. That's armed, right? Yep, that's armed. Still scary, though, because it is going to be crazing. It's actually going to be crazing a lot. I'm going to want to deal with that. So let's go ahead and do my, um... Do I want to do Diamond Crusher, or do I want to save a stand to try to get something set up there? A couple ways I can take this. Could also just do Zoidberg first. And if I do Zoidberg, that'll give me some shields and some heal there, some punches. I'm just trying to think outside the box on this one now, because I'm going to be taking some pretty heavy damage. If I commit to the Zoidberg one, I can do Zoidberg versus Bot for the cripple all. Might help. And if I do Diamond Crusher first, though, that still leaves all of my options open. And you know what? I want to leave all of my options open. There's no point in playing Dr. Zoidberg first. So I gotta try to take out that knife fight Stewie really quick, because it's gonna be doing some major damage to me if I can't drop it. Alright, they drop another Dr. Zoidberg. So the question is, do I want to make another Stick and Hank to keep getting my health as high up as I can, or do I want to make a different combo? So what are my options here? Could go Mascot Fighter. It's gonna be delivering quite a bit of bomb damage. It's got the punches there. Not a bad way to go. Alternative, we'll be doing the Zoidberg one there for the cripple all to limit it. Still doing a lot of bomb damage. I'm still, that actually might be my best bet, because doing another Stick and Hank, it'll give me 30 heal to the chicken fight, which is nice. Um, so I, I still wouldn't be able to survive, though. The Knife Fight Stewie will still be ending me. Yeah, I'm going to need to find alternative ways to deal with the Knife Fight Stewie. So you know what? Nine cripple all. I think I'm going to want to go with the stand, because if I can land some lucky punches, that's going to be how I get rid of that Knife Fight Stewie. As it stands now, I'm losing that chicken fight. There's no way around that. Luckily, Brian's statue was falling, though, so it's losing that chunk of bodyguard that was shielding it. Hopefully, I get my punches to land on the Stewie here. Damn it, are you kidding me? Okay. Well, I'm losing my chicken fight here. Nothing I can do about that. And of course, it crippled the one that was going to get the direct attack. Jesus. All right, what are my potential options here? If I do my Diamond Crusher, would it survive the hit? If it does, I can do a, a Bob combo for a Christmas Punch-Out with Leech, and it'll stop it from crazing anymore. Or I could just throw out a Chicken Fight, which would, I think, survive the hit and motivate Mascot, but then what? I'm just delaying the inevitable still. One sec, I'm going to run some math on the Diamond Crusher and see if that actually is enough to survive. All right, doing Diamond Crusher should allow it to just barely live from the hit from Knife Fight. So I think that's how we're going to play this and go for the Christmas Punch Out and try to take that Knife Fight Stewie out. Oh man, RC Helicopter. So there's the Bodyguard back onto the, um, onto the Knife Fight Stewie. And it's shielded too. Dang it, that was the best thing it could have possibly done in this situation to defend. Well, I'm going to still commit to that combo there and do my Christmas punch out. I should still be good for dropping it and getting that leech. So we're still in a fairly decent spot here. And because of that bodyguard there, I can't accidentally punch out the knife fight. So I am guaranteed to get this leech. Boom. Crisis freaking averted. And I still have some turns here to get that heal all to get Christmas punch out all the way back up to full. So that's how we're going to play this now question now is, do I want to keep playing high HP on the field, or, you know what, no, screw it, let's go ahead and play Dr. Zoidberg, that's another healer out there, he's high enough HP, but I want to have more heal on the field to really maximize score here, plus he's got 9 shield, which is nice if it goes to the right cards, look at that, everybody's back up to full HP now, we got the hatchet, it's annoying, but I can deal, there's a lot of bodyguard on the field, I'm trying to block out all the bombs and punches, okay, I see the 
the logic behind the um, armed deck now. Either way though, I'm going full on highest HP shit that I can do. Chicken fight over here because it should be over this turn with that. And I think everybody's going to be healed up to full. The only one who's not at full is my Ricky Spanish hero. So I don't think it's possible to get 100 with how much damage I have on me for that. But I got a pretty substantial card wall there. And all of my cards are at full. So it should still be a pretty good score, I hope. All right, we're going up against Inkzon next. Oh, I do have one item, so we can go Christmas Punch-Out or Bakaneko. We'll lead with the Home Invader and see where we're going to go. Where's Fate going to lead us? High School Bill. That's a Crazer, so Fate's going to lead us in the direction of Christmas Punch-Out. Boy Witch Steve, that's also going to be causing me some nightmares. Got a lot of payback damage. Gonna need something that can heal up whatever goes against that. So let's go ahead and just go high HP, I think, with Chicken Fight. Or I could just throw out Luis and hope that I draw the item to get um, the Bakaneko combo for the leech would not be a bad way to go on that. It's also a potential there. Or I can just commit to the chicken fight here. Uh, chicken fight I think guarantees that I kill the high school bill, whereas if I don't there's no guarantee. Yeah, let's just take the guaranteed kill so they don't build any other walls on me. And I do have a Hank, so if I can draw a healing item, I can get my healer set up there. Yeah, if I didn't play Chicken Fight. What the heck? High School Bill still lived? Dang it. Oh, well, I'm still glad I did Chicken Fight. Because then even more than I wouldn't have. I'd have a card that's weaker there, and I'd have to fill holes. Need a healer. Medic, where's my medic? Damn it. I mean, technically that's a healer with the heal all. Uh... Yeah, I guess let's go ahead and do that, try to get some healing out there. Still have the Hank to try to get a healing setup over there. Give me some punches on the Boy Witch, I need to drop that. Okay, would have preferred um, Christmas Punch Out to have hit it too, so it would have dropped, because now it's going to be leeching up there again. And I did take that payback damage because of that, so that sucked. Oh my god, everything's going for ch poor chicken fight there. It's okay, I should be dropping that. Okay, and there's my fighter item. We're gonna go ahead and get that Stick and Hank set up. At least Peggy has the six heal all this turn to help Chicken fight out a bit. And they're still at 70 HP and they got, got some room to work with here. I should still be good to get my health back, I think. Good punch. Avoided that payback there. And they can't combo. They're forced to fill the hole because that was a pre-combo. So I'm in an excellent spot here to ensure the heal gets over to that last slot. Let's go ahead and get that Stick and Hank made, and that's gonna heal up my entire card line. And I do believe this is gonna be over this turn. Please don't punch badminton. Are you kidding me? God damn it, RN Jesus, you suck. All right, Paul Man is up next. Let's go ahead and lead with, ooh, I can make Will of a Housewife. I do like that. And there's the potential to do the action delivery for us. I know I want to make one of those. I just don't know which way I want to take it yet, depending on what they play. So I'm going to go ahead and lead with the Leela. I have no way of knowing what way they're going to take that. I'm just going to go on the hard offensive here and make Will the Housewife to do as much freaking damage as I can right out of the gate. And that's one of the ones I was afraid of. That's going to suck. It has the hijack to start taking my, um, my craze. Damn it. Well, I'm going to want to try to get some healing going on if I can, because that has some payback damage there. There's a real chance I might lose now because of this. I don't want to feed and motivate those to so no chicken fights, which is going to give me the better stick and hank. That one, that looks like it's the better one. Let's go ahead and do Brian the Home Invader. Okay, where's the punch going to go from Class Banker? I need Will the Housewife to live. That doesn't even matter. It has 38 attacks because of what it took from me. I'm still boned. Damn it. Though, I think I can bomb the class spanker to take care of it there. If I combo up now into Stick and Hank, that should be enough bomb, because there's no bodyguard, no shield, no anything on the class spanker. So we're going to abandon slot one, make Stick and Hank there, and just bomb that thing into oblivion. And they made chicken fight, so they also just are abandoning slot one there. I'm going to be dealing that payback damage, which is good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just start making my own moves here. Do I want to do a Brian the Home Invader and hope I draw a character to combo? 
or I can go chicken fight pre-combo to buff up with some motivate there and have some bombs and punches next turn. That would not be a bad way to go either. Screw it, let's do Brian the Home Invader. If I can draw another Hank and get the heal wall set up, I'll be pretty, pretty solid, pretty good. Even if I can get a mythic combo, any combo would be great. All right, didn't go for the stick and Hank this time, so that's fine. And there's the combo I can make with Stewie there. I think that's the way we're gonna take it. We're gonna combo on up into the Karate Stewie. And then if I make another combo later, we can get that boost there, but he'll get healed up pretty nicely. And between the bombs and everything here, I think Chicken Fight should be falling, hopefully. They dropped the Arlen instead of comboing. Thank you very much. So Fashion Wrestling will be dying this next turn. I'll get the heal from Stick and Hank. I just need to try to get some more healers set up to heal my Stick and Hank. So I'm gonna play a Diamond Crusher instead of Chicken Fight there. Cause if I can draw another Hank, that would be dope. Get that 15 heal all there. I would prefer that to hit Arlen, honestly, but hey, RNG Jesus is determined to bone me every chance he gets this match. All right, thank God it didn't combo the a chicken fight there. That would have sucked for some more damage against me. Come on, give me a Hank. Dang it. Well, we're gonna drop the Arlen YMCA now instead because that has some heal to fighter there. And I think I'm still in a spot where the attack next turn should hypothetically make it over to that slot unless they combo Arlen this turn and completely bone me that way. Okay, it didn't do that. <laughs> oh man, yeah, I should be good with that. Still no combo, unfortunately, but it is over for sure this turn with all that direct damage, so highest HP card, chicken fight to expand the slot there. And hopefully I do get that free heal from the Arlen, and I think there's enough heal all in the field from Stick and Hank to where Arlen should be guaranteed to heal up the Stick and Hank. Are you kidding me, RNG Jesus? Are you kidding me? All right, so we are about halfway done with our hits against Smart in this Rumble match. However, I'll let you guys in on a little secret. Those remaining hits, that's about 20 minutes worth of footage. As I do not want this video to run 40 freaking minutes long because, hey, nobody's got time for that. We're going to go ahead and cut it here and make this into a two-parter. Will I be able to maintain my win streak against them and go flawless? Will R and Jesus continue to bone me left and right? You guys will just have to find out tomorrow on part two, so be sure to tune in for that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed part one of this Rumble match. If you did, please be sure to click that like button and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me out. And also be sure to click that little bell icon so you get notified of new uploads as soon as they go live. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.